Hello everyone. <coughs> this is size 14 jig hook and this gunmetal tungsten bead, slotted bead. Thread I'm using is block A2. So if you just kind of lock the bead here before you go any further. Just gonna come back to give a little just a tapered shape. Now for the tail, this is a crinkle flush and it's called like a rainbow colors so so if you can fold it a couple of times about four times and I'm going to catch it here on top and now go towards the tail bend actually these nymph swim upside down so it's better to just go around the bend I'm just going to cut this off hide all this just building up a nice body you know this is a nice and chunky pattern so we need a nice body here for the body I'm gonna be using this is a purple light purple spawn flex now this is a really good color for the grading fishing along with pink so once you catch on top give it a nice stretch my sorry my thread is actually splitting Now give it a good stretch and go all the way down to the bend. And also, just in between the grips, I'm going to add some. This is a holographic tin, so this is small size, so catch it. And now use nice touch and turn. Keep coming up now towards the bead. Basically, you fish this pattern in deep water or fast flowing water, you know, when the rivers are high. God, they are a little heavy because the beads are like 3 millimeter. And then leave enough gap so we can have ribs. Now here I'm gonna just build up a nice didn't realize the spawn flex is splitting actually. Now secure this and take this off. Bring this holographic 
tinsel through the ribs. And secure it. Now I'm going to kind of work with the head. And that's enough actually. Just taking all this extra fluff sticking out and for the tail don't need too long just a bit flush and I'm gonna add a pink on the head so just to give a more nice color deep water patterns need to have a more color and this is it. The so pink and purples are the good color for grading. Anything sticking out, I just kind of use lighter to burn it. Be careful in case you burn, burn the material. So this is basically done. And what I'll do here, this is a kind of dark pink nail varnish just on the head. Here where the hole is, you know, this slot. Kind of cover it up. and let it dry because once it's dry then you can use your raisins so I need decent amount on here so let it dry so this one is dried all I have to do is just put some UV raisins just on the body I don't want it too much and just to see the visible ribs you know and then on the head I might put some so if I could just get some off with my hand Clear the body first. And then on the head, I just want to get a decent amount. So there you have a pink and purple jig, great part for grilling. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.